Hi, Internet! Welcome back to the stream! Happy Sunday, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I'm here, I was climbing a little bit before the stream, I was trying out a bunch of decks, I'm currently playing Nasus Vigar. This is the last deck that I thought I would pick up, but I got fucking bodied by it a couple of times, and it's very good, it has a very high win rate, so I have capitulated to the meta, and I've been using it for the past few games. I currently, I've played like three or four and haven't dropped any of them, so uh, undefeated so far, hooray! Um, I've tried, uh, I did a little bit of elusives to warm up, and then that wasn't working, or wasn't pushing past, like, Diamond 1, like, 40 LP or so. So then I went to try the Vayntrox decks, and that also struggled, and then I tried Cantrox, because that's my favorite, and I know it the best, and that really struggled. Uh, and then I tried Nasus Vigar, and we're currently on a hot streak with that one, so I'm gonna continue playing that here uh right now um my plan for the stream is we'll attempt to hit masters in the next hour or two uh if we don't get it within an, a number of games that doesn't frustrate me uh i'm just gonna go to eternal non unranked and just play decks i think take the deck submissions silver arcana welcome back hello i appreciate that you have deck codes ready but i'm gonna try to climb a little bit here uh just because i'm i'm so close i'm like i'm so close um i think we need what four wins to get there so hopefully we'll be able to pull that out um also new kid thank you for the resub and 24 months two years on the dot apparently it has been two years of trolling um thank you for being our uh resident troll every stream needs one and you are definitely taking that spot um welcome back hope you're doing well silver arcana thank you for the faith appreciate it uh i the first time i tried playing this nasus vigar deck i draw i drew literally zero of my vaults of helia and still one and at that point i was like huh i can probably pilot this okay <laughs> So here we are, unless it's Ash, because Ash is my fucking nemesis at this point. Really, just anything to do with an Ash can just go uh, the hell away from me, um, I think, personally. I just, I never do well versus the Ashes, or the LeBlancs, really. Um, I had a, I went up against a LeBlanc Ash deck uh, with Cantrox. Which is already like kind of iffy in this meta, um, but I was doing it with Cantrox and I managed to top deck a Kane and a Ranger Knight Defector, and that's all I top decked for the entire game, other than equipment. And I was like, "What is this bullshit?" You try starting an only feet page. No one likes ugly men though, so you figure you'd come back. Thank you for returning after your foray uh, into only feet. I am sorry that it was a it was a feat that did not yield as much as you had hoped for. Um, I have a draw. Can I get a rock bear shepherd just to round out the opening? No, that's a nasus. Whoops. <laughs> well, I have a nasus, so that's exciting. Uh, puns. Yes, that's 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 the whole thing. Um. I top decked another vaults of of the Helios, and now we're gonna plop it. Have they top decked nothing? Okay, I was like, surely they top decked something over here. That's not, that's not how that do. Um, yeah, you can have that because it draws me a card. Oh no, that's my two drop. Whoops. I was supposed to keep that one. I was supposed to keep that one because the, the other one is only worth one, so it'll only summon a sentry again. Ah, yes. That's wonderful. Okay, they're, they're just killing both. That makes sense. Um, if the hen was going to church, you should put on a hentai before going. That sounds reasonable. I see I see nothing wrong with that whole, that prospect. Uh, yeah, we f completely fucked up. I shouldn't have blocked it all there. I should not have blocked it all. Uh, yeah, I just play terribly when I see an ash. I see an ash and I'm like, no thank you. That's time to die. It's time for me to call uh, this game uh, and uh, disappear into the sunset. That's that's the mentality. Um, this is like worth nothing, but it is a Nasus, so we could cast it. I could also just castigate the whole shebang and only take five. Um, but the Nasus gives it something to kill, so I don't hate that. More hentais, less church. I mean, that makes sense. That seems logical enough. Do you have Soul Harvest? Maybe. I don't know what the Mono Ashes do except be a pain in my ass. So we can definitely drop down to nine. I'm not a fan, but we can. 
Uh, yep. I can double rekindler, which is funnier if I have killed anything before this point, but I haven't so far, which is exciting. Oh, that's death. Oh, it's like shatter or something. Ah, uh, no, it is a soul harvest. Okay, fine. Yep, I, none of this does anything. Like, we can castigate so that the ash is out of the way, uh, but nothing else happens after that, unfortunately. Uh, I had just such a pathetic Nasus. Yep, this is already a loss. See, I turned on the stream and it's a curse. It's already a curse. Yada, 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 you have soul harvest. No one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. Uh, try dual force? Hello, Devil D, welcome back. Um, I have not tried dual force yet. I know that is my fault. I know that I have erred deeply. Um, I'm too busy losing, uh, to, with my, with a Nasus deck. I'm too busy. I'm too busy doing other things, can't you tell? <laughs> Welcome back, though. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Can I live here? Uh, technically, no. I mean, I yeah, I don't even have mana for that, so we're fine. We're just gonna let that one drop. We'll just let that one go. I hate Ash so much. I hate Ash so much! Ah! Never mind. It's not because of expeditions. I just hate her in general. Um, I will say, though, that the top decks were pretty terrible. Like, not only did I not... Like, to be fair, I did kill... I did kill the Ceaseless Sentry and the Bukai. I did kill those. That is a fair point. However! However, my top decks were also bad. Uh, it's not a deck unless it has a Jenner in it. I apologize that this one does not have a Jenner in it. Um, it is a flaw. It is a fatal flaw. Um... That's not it, but okay. Can I... Ah, uh, no, I don't want to give them yetis. <laughs> I don't want to give them yetis. Stop putting me up against ashes. No. It's terrible. It's terrible news. I can't do this very well. No. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to be able to beat these decks, but I have bad luck with them regardless. Doesn't matter what I'm playing. Doesn't matter what universe it is, I will just always be unable to do it. I don't think I saw a Vaults of Hell off that predict. If I did and I didn't pick it, that was also stupid. But um, I, I don't think I did. Temple to True Ice. Ah, uh, that's annoying and I can't kill it. But okay, that's fun, I guess, for somebody. It's fun for somebody, not me. <laughs> uh, it's fun for not me in particular. I needed to top deck the Vaults of Hell right there and I did not. I very much did not. Oh boy, and we're going to kill that immediately because it's a Kleblanc. Immediate murder! Yeah, 5-5 five five is just not not what I want to be dealing with at the moment. God damn it. Ah, my luck has already run out. My luck has already dwindled. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, have at it. I can't. It's fine. I got Castigate. I can castigate my way through this, right? <laughs> At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. They burned seven mana, so that's not insignificant. It's still not what I was looking for, but it's not insignificant at least. Uh, yeah, I have uh, no means of drawing. Um, I can kill a thing to get rid of their temple, to be fair, uh, which I guess is something, I suppose. Uh, also, Kalba, hello and welcome back. You're more of a concatenate person. I wish I could concat concat concatenate my wins here, but unfortunately that's not quite working out. I'm going to try and destroy their landmark considering I have not much else to do. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you are interested at all in DC Dual Force, there are rewards that come out in a little bit. Uh, as Devil D is pointing out, so I would recommend going to do that uh, if that's a card game that interests you. It has all the DC stuff instead of the Marvel stuff. That's another temple to true ice. Fuck me, I guess. Uh, thank you for the, call, the hug, Kalma. Appreciate it. Uh, that's another Le Castigate. That's another Le Blanc. I hate all of this. I hate all of this. I can't even. I, it's ooh boy. It's just so bad. It's just so. It's just really bad. Oh boy. There's three vaults in this fucking deck. There's three! I know there's three. I counted. Because I was when I didn't top deck it the last time that this happened, I was like, is that for real? 
Am I am I for real not seeing of Alts of Helia, even though there's three of them in the fucking thing? Uh, and it's happened again! It's happening again! I'm not lying when I say sometimes my luck is atrocious. Today it's been like relatively atrocious consistently and I don't know why. Uh, did they have an Ash? Yeah, they have an Ash. I've killed one LeBlanc so far. They only have five more champions. Now we get Vaults of Hellia! Now that I have no units! Oh good! You're fucking useless, Vault. You are fucking useless. Uh, just in game or IRL too. I will say my real life luck is occasionally better than my game. Or my, is, well, better? It, d it depends. It's like relatively similar i would say sometimes it's very good like sometimes it's astonishingly good and sometimes it's just astonishingly bad and i cannot tell you which one it's going to be on a given day um that sucks but i do have my boy and he is big you have a frostbite i'm pretending that that's not true <laughs> I'm going to aggressively pretend that frostbites aren't a thing and that this will definitely resolve. Either way, it should live unless they have that. Unless they have that. And then LeBlanc gets to level. But now I can cast Rekindler? And then it will still get frostbite somehow. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, oh my god, fine, yes, LeBlanc, yada yada yada. Ah, uh, please give me Rekindler. And please let it do something. Ah, oh, the Vengeance! Very good, very good. Very, very good. We like that. We like to see that. We do appreciate it immensely. Uh, that is a Scorched Earth, which is fine and understandable. I'm okay with that. I do not have lethal. I do not generally have lethal, all things considered, so I'm going to try and hit them with the Nasus. Please don't. Yeah, okay, that's that's okay. And that is absolutely fine. I'm going to kill it. Right? Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna murder it real casual. Ash has three HP, so we do have two hate spikes to potentially use on the four four. Not ideal, but it's something. Okie dokie. We gotta surrender! There we go. All we needed is the big... All we needed is the big dog. Fantastic! She will be at 5% or 5-5. Oh, the temple! Right, you're right, the temple. I forgot about the temple. Well, then I have a hate spike that will do absolutely nothing. Yeah, great. I, they understood their place. <laughs> Relative to my vault of hellia bullshit. All right. One, one win, one loss. We can we can keep doing Or one loss, one win. One loss, one win. We can do this. 50% on stream, 100% off stream. That's Teemo. But I have Soul Harvest now. I think part of my joy of playing this deck is honestly just the feeling of, oh my god, I can kill things again. Oh my god, I have murder options. That's not the murder option I wanted, but it exists. So, I mean, it's in my hand. I, I, gotta, I gotta deal with that. I guess I can. Do you want to play that turn one Teemo? I dare you to play a turn one Teemo. I know you want to. I know that's a Teemo deck. You're not playing the Targon. There you go. You had it. Okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna shove that into the abyss. Um, murder options in my head. Hello, FBI. Um, I think the FBI would have lots of questions if they uh, spoke to me or heard my everyday speech, but it's fine. It's card games. Card games are different. Card games are where we're allowed to be excessively murderous all the time. Right? That's what I've learned anyway. <laughs> That's what I have internalized. Uh, please kill your pup cat pup. It would be joyous, because then I would get a slate rock. No, you don't want to slay my stuff for me, for Doggo? Rude. Want to play another Teemo? Because I will smack it. I will do a smack. Oh, you want to pass the turn? I will accept that. Now I need a Vaults of Hel that's a bur that's a, that's a doggo. That's not a Vaults of Helia, unfortunately. Uh, it's kind of not as good either. Um, and I haven't slayed enough things uh, for this to really do stuff. But I can get in two damage or trade with a two two, which should be fine. Um, we're looking at an okay amount of damage. Oh, they just took the damage. That's also okay. It's not ideal, but it's it's, it's okay. Yeah. But Doggo is a good boy. 
Uh, Doggo is a good boy. Also, shooters are the most popular shit, and guns in the States are like candy. <laughs> Everything that you can buy at Walmart. Um, you know, Walmart, nothing's questionable about Walmart. Nothing has ever been questionable about Walmart. Yeah, I do be fair, I am happy to see the doggo. It is a good, it is a good doggo time. Um, we could, we could hate Spike now and get rid of the dog and then have a thing left over, um, and then have a thing left over for getting rid of, um, for getting rid of the Teemo later, which shall eventually be a problem. I can't really kill Puffcat Peddlers yet, so that's unfortunate, but it's just kind of a thing anyway. Um, if they ping this down, we lose the spell, but that's okay. Um, okay. That's a spell shieldy husk! I would normally be more excited about that, except I can't do much about that. <laughs> Because I don't have the stupid motherfucking goddamn vaults of Elia! <sighs> ah! Give me the vaults. Give me a vault. Look, I have the thing. I have cast the shepherd on turn five. Not ideal, but I have it on turn five. Now I just need vault help vaults on turn four, uh, six. Oh, I want it on turn four, but we'll get it on turn six, which is obviously perfect. Um, no, nothing to, no problems here. Nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. I could have also waited to put the spell shield on the Nasus, but I think Nasus will be okay. They could have many more for something, but they're unlikely to be able to remove all of the stuff, all of the Nasus stats and kill him. And even if we do, we can manually rekindler him. Um, yeah, hate the manual rekindler, but we got it. I also can't summon two things, right? No, eh, no. Because we'd have to get, like, a one-drop on top of the Rampaging Bakai. Which isn't gonna probably happen. We, we'd need the other Bakai. Small Bakai. Small Frat. Um, but I don't think we're gonna get Small Frat. Be nice if we got a Small Frat, though. Sev, what you thinking over there? Everybody's got three mana? We're all having a good time? Binassus is a good boy. That, okay, you're just casting your shrooms now to, to enforce dominance. I understand. Uh, are they leveling a Teemo? They did level a Teemo. They don't play a Teemo for sure, though, because they would have cast it before. We can still kill it, right? Yeah, four or less. Uh, that's really not the thing that I was looking for either. I think we're just going to cast a 6-6. Six, six. It's a 6-6, six, six, and it is fearsome. And it glares at you. Uh, and I still don't have Vaults of Hellia. I keep looking at this and be like, ah, yes, the green thing. The green landmark is the thing. No, it's not. It's unfortunately the wrong thing. Uh, that's a time trick, not a way of removing my dog. Don't hurt my dog. If you hurt my dog, I hurt you in the nuts. I don't care if you're a lady, I'll, I'll, I'll manufacture nuts for you, and I will hurt you in them, okay? That's how it goes over here. Don't hurt my dog. Do not hurt my dog. I know it's a small dog. I know he should be a 1010, but it's my dog. Um, What you wanna block with? Eh? Blocking? Eh? Spell casting? Sorry, I'm in a mood today, folks. Uh, you want to cast a shrew? That's what, what I thought. Okay, we get a, what is that, a 7-3? Yeah, I did math. Good. I like math. Um, when I'm buffing my dog only. <laughs> Every other time it can go fuck off. Um, okay. We get a 5-5. Five, five. We have Timo murder buttons. We have Rekindler, if they dare touch our doggo. Um, I have issues with the speed at which they are making decisions, but that's okay. I've been roping a little bit with this deck, to be honest, as I try and remember how to do things with it. Um, so I'm not the fastest Nasus Vigar player. It's the Vigar. It's all, it's entirely the Vigar's fault. Vigar makes you play slow. It's like some kind of psychological pressure that he puts on you. That's why all the darkness players play slow. Um, okay. All right. Two mana. 
Do we have like 30 shrooms by now? We have 25. Okay, that's manageable. That's manageable. Uh, we've only taken two to the face so far. We should be fine unless they Ava us to death, but we might be able to top deck a vengeance or something in time for that to not be as much of a problem. Or we could top deck a vault. Or we could do that. Uh, the only time he's adding you on Twitch anymore is for the Pokemon tournament? Interesting. Also, Syntax, hello and welcome back. Hope you're doing all right. How's it going? Um, okay, we have a 5-5. Five five. That's good. We like those. I like rekindlers in other contexts where it called I have other things to do. <laughs> called I have other things to cast, but I do have a rampaging Bekai that's actually activated. So maybe I'll get an 8-4 dog. Bear is activated, and I can kill one of their peddlers now, which is absolutely fantastic. You got to camping festival this weekend coming up? Yo, camping festival. That sounds fun. Are you in a, like, super hot area, though? I forget. Because if it's super warm, that doesn't sound as... <laughs> sounds a little frustrating, but hopefully the temperatures are not too bad. I know somebody who went camping last weekend, and they were like, luckily we were by a lake, so they could just sit in the water the whole time. Um, but it was in the hundreds out in the out in the camping areas around here in California. Uh, Kanakistan. Oh, okay. All right, that's cooler at least a little bit. Okay, we get poison darted. I we could counter, but it's not worth. They're not going to attack us unless they're um, st stupid. I guess I should use one of my quietuses on that too, too, just to like get it out of the way. Um, cause we are looking at a good open attack next turn, especially if that's the only thing that they have left. Okay, you're just desperation pinging. Um, we're gonna use one and then maybe we'll bait out a Teemo cause they will think, oh shit, there's only one, there's only so many of those quietus things. I have had all, I've drawn all three, motherfucker. Play a Teemo. That's a sump monument. That's not a Teemo. I can't counter that. That's unfortunate, but we'll be fine. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be fine. Uh, that's a rock bear shepherd. Um, darkness is uh, not ideal here, but it is a 7-6, so we have that. Also, it's free. Also, it is free. Who doesn't love it when it's free? I love it when it's free. Um, I'm gonna... We're just gonna smack anyway. Um, I'm surprised it's on Destin 8 instead of Spooter. Um, I just ripped it off. I just net decked this shit. Um, I like the version that this currently has. I've had a bunch of a couple games where I've been able to sit on a Vigar long enough for the Destin Ada to actually be a board wipe, uh, which is nice. Um, so I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Um, this is pretty safe, right? Yeah, we're good. They have three mana. And a 3-1 and a 4-2. We got overwhelmed. That dies to something insignificant by now. It's already done its job. Uh, we don't have a counter spell, but we shouldn't need it. We have Quietus for Teemo. I think we should be fine. Nothing can kill the Nasus unless they put a Mystic Shot on something, and even then they have to block the rest of the stuff that's coming into face. That's great. That's great. We smack. We... Ooh, they're thinking... Ooh, they had a thought. They're doing something. That's a, oh, it's just a wallop. That's not gonna save you forever. So that's fine. Okay. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. Okay, uh, 32 and we've got 56. Okay. Currently we should be able to punch through, I think. My rekindlers are still somewhat uh, dead. <laughs> My rekindlers are still very dead. <laughs> Uh, but maybe vaults, except this is an eight cost, so it will actually not do that. Whoops. Um, okay. Now I just need to kill things. We just need to kill things. That's a hate spike. Okay. That's fine. That's great. That's wonderful. I can kill that and poke a Teemo. There's so many ways that I can poke the Teemo. Um, no, I guess, I mean, Ava Achiever is still going to be a pain if an Ava Achiever shows up. Because I can't, I can't kill it because we still haven't found that vengeance that I wanted before. We still don't have that, which is annoying. Um, but we should have survivability. We have two puff caps per draw, and we're going to be planting 44 with a single Nasus uh, next turn. So that gives us a significant advantage. Ah, they played nothing. They have insider knowledges, right? That's okay. Um... 
currently. It's a puff cap per puff cap type of drawing scenario, which is okay. Yeah, if they insider our knowledge now, they have a pretty big risk of killing themselves because it's four puff caps per their draw at this point. So I think we just wait them out. Yeah, I think we just ha we wait them out. That's ten. Oh, they got unlucky with that one. That should have been like four. <laughs> that should have been like four. Uh, are we fine? Yeah, we're fine. I, we shouldn't draw. A, we shouldn't draw eleven. Okay, and they also surrendered. <laughs> yeah, ten is rude. <laughs> ten is so rude. Thank you, Nasus. Okay, see, doggo plant shroom too. Everything plant shroom. <laughs> All right, how's the Nasus? Did we get pump up the Nasus's mastery? Oh fuck yeah, we did. A lot of shrooms. It is a lot of shrooms. Okay, okay. All right, let's do this. Let's keep on going. We got this. We just gotta trust in the doggo. For a while when I was playing TFTO, I was like, just trust in the burb. Because whenever I ran Strategist Azir, it just all would always work out super well. Um, now, instead of trust the burb, now let's just trust the dog. One day we'll be able, one day we'll have to trust the croc too, but um, not, so not in this meta. <laughs> no croc trust in here. Uh, multi boy is running a Teemo elusives. Okay, so that's the regular elusive list, not the Teemo shroom version, but Teemo elusives. I'm keeping the fuck out of Quietus. <laughs> I am keeping the fuck out of Quietus. Um, there's an argument I think that we open pass here instead of uh, playing the Forsaken Bakai, because then it would allow them to play a Teemo, and then we have to deal with that. Um, so excuse me, do you have? The Teemo? You do have the Teemo. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate for you. It is also unfortunate for me that you're running elusives, but hopefully we'll be able to find the vaults of Helia. They don't have pings. They've got fucking celestial blessings and shenanigans. Um, okay. There we got a 4-4 four, four dog. That's an acorn. That's not a Teemo. Ah, uh, vaults of Helia. Thank you. The Vigar and the other thing, the other additional quietus would have been nice. But I don't want to get fucked by not having the vaults. Uh, first game ever. <laughs> I know! I'm actually doing the thing that the deck is supposed to do. It's a miracle. It's a fucking miracle. Okay, so they do that, and then we have Hate Spike also. Play another Teemo. That's a Darkened Lodestone. Oh! I'm gonna think about Vaults of Helia and maybe not kill that immediately. If it's only a 2 2, that's okay. They do more stuff, less okay. I wish I would not top deck all of my Nasuses, though. That's a little. Kinda wish that wouldn't occur that way. Um. <laughs> but that's okay, is it? I mean, we're gonna have to deal with it, I think. Oh, that's 7 damage, though. Oh, that's gonna be 7 fucking damage. We could also just sacrifice this and get a cultist out of it and then wait another turn. Because the 3-3 two, the three, three is not growing, which means Hate Spike should be able to kill it. Uh, yeah, I don't actually want to take 9 damage. Or no, it's still going to be... No, it's going to be 10 damage. 6, 5 plus... It's going to be 8 damage. I don't want to take 8 damage. <laughs> I'm just going to make the executive decision that 8 damage is going to be uh, not so good. A uh, husk does count for vaults, yeah, I think. I think it does count for the vault. I want to say I saw somebody else do that, where they did get the vault. Oh, it's an elusive husk, though, unfortunately. Actually would have liked to use that. Oh, great. Uh, but that's okay. Um, four is better than eight. Four is better than eight. They're still going to have the other thing, but it's okay. Yeah, it does count, which means we get ceaseless sentry. Um, a f something I can afford would be nice. That's not really something that I can use. Though, to be fair, is it really doing much if I have to deal with all of that shenanigans? I could try and kill their winged messenger now by double hate spiking on top of the winged messenger. Uh, it would be a lot of slate procs for the Nasus. I could plop down like a 9-9 Nasus if I do all of that now. Um, they have the Darkened Lodestone, which they might cast on the Esma, so it would be going into my face for only a damage as well. Um, doesn't work. Um... You can kill allies with the hate spike, right, though? So you can still stack two. 
Um, Thrust and Kelter, you know, the second one fizzles. Uh, only if I stack them simultaneously, right? I could always kill that, spawn the husk, and then do the second one on the second husk. Uh, which is kind of what I'm thinking, because I really don't like that 4-6. Um, and, and this also draws me a card. Um, and Esmus is small. Oh, and we get Rampaging Bukai next turn, if for some reason we don't want to use Anassis for something. They might have us another Celestial Blessing, or whatever it is. I... Oh, but now they don't. Now they don't have that. Now they can't do it. Uh, and you're a nice big boy. But we'd also just have six, so we should probably play Nasus. When whatever keyword he gets. Give me an elusive Nasus? Okay, that's a Fury Nasus, which helps him out. Ooh, you are a 10-10, actually. Ooh, we get a 10-11, boy! Now I just need it to wait. Oh, no, we don't, because it is taken. That's okay, still. That's still okay. You're a little 11-11 now. That's fine. That's okay. Yep. Okay. Bukai onto anything dangerous is the play, I think. Unless we want the Nasus with the vaults, which we might. But if they... I mean, I don't think they can shit out 15 damage. They'll get close to shitting out probably like 10 damage if they're good. But they might not be able to. Yeah, especially if they're invoking, they're not going to be able to do much. So I think we just regular Nasus. Oh, it's totally a regular fucking Nasus. That Esmus does one damage. <laughs> that Esmus only does one damage. Okay. Hi, I have a large dog. I promise that his bite is also uh, as bad as his bark, so you should stay away from it. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Rekindler. Boom. Stats. Boom. It's large. Okay. Um, open attack honestly looks kind of good here. Um, yeah, because there's only one thing that can block Fearsome. We could also... No, three or less power, so the 4-4 four four is going to stay. We could Siphoning Strike it, actually. We could just try and Siphoning Strike. We lose the Rampaging Bakai, but this is... They would... Worst case scenario, they silence the Nasus. But if they have a silence for the Nasus, they have a silence for the Nasus. It's a murder dog. Uh, it is a pretty... It is a pretty large murder dog, yes. So either they would silence the Nasus on attack with another... Uh, uh, Targonian Telstones, or it resolves. Or it resolves. Okay. I did think that because they had you'd use one before that probably they maybe didn't have another one. I've certainly had hands with that deck where I do actually have fucking three Telstones in hand and it's just like, well, sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. So they have a Sport of Life Steal. Um, I, um, I, so I'm actually gonna kill the Elusive here. Um, so that they have to block with their, uh, life stealy, because I don't want them to have elusives. Because we're at 14. They have, um, blowback, and a couple of blowbacks and, like, one Esmus that's allowed to do things is honestly just kind of a lot of problems. Um, so we're gonna do this. They have to block Nasus. They do block the Nasus. Um, we have Rampaging Bakai's now. Um... It was forced to block with the elusive and not heal. Um, they were both three power though, right? Oh, but I see what you're saying. If I had killed the life steal, then that would have been the only fair something. You're right. That's correct. Um, I mean we're not really paying for it, right? That's gonna be six, seven elusive unit. That's fine. Um, this doesn't punch through Harazi, which is okay. We can't just decent Ada. Um, so that becomes a 6-7, we take, or a 7, it becomes a 7-7 seven, seven because the Esmus will buff, so we're only taking 7 damage. Uh, Des and Ada will be able to kill the Harazi as well. Um, Rekindler saves me 1 damage. Oh yeah, <laughs> it does, because it will, uh, reduce the Nasus. Uh, I mean, might as well... It's just two Nasus's. It's, it's two, two Nasses. The Nasus who is nicest. The, the, the Nasses who are nicest. Something like that. Something along those lines. Anyway, Harazi is useless. And uh, they are buffing strangely. Well, kind of strangely. No, they're buffing strangely. It, it does not matter. It is irrelevant. Okay, good. Okay. 
Big dog. Big dog. Big dog. Go to town. Big dog. Do things. I like the level up version of the skin. The the multiple heads is quite great. Ah. Uh, Okay, so boom, and then boom, and then two 19 spell shieldy boys go to town. Uh, just having a fun day out. Gonna get mimosas or some shit. We need a skin of Nasus holding a mimosa. That, it needs to happen. Okay, we are still climbing. Great. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, let's, let's go. I need two more of those. I need two more, and it will be great. I just want to hit Masters. <laughs> uh, for some reason this season, I fucking decided that Masters was happening again. It's so much more. It's so much more stress-free if I'm just like Diamond Four is great, uh, but I'm so close. I've climbed so far. We gotta get it. At this point, if I give up, uh, I I will uh, lose patience with myself. So close. All right, dog, let's go. Um, that's the same deck, but with a Zerbo. Um, okay, that's unfortunate. Ah, but we do top deck the Vaults of Helia this time. Better, 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 better. Okay, sometimes, obviously, clearly we do not. I did top deck Anasis again. I could stop doing that. If we could just stop doing that, maybe, that would be helpful. Okay, great. That's a Kate Spike. That is fine. Ceaseless Sentry. And then don't murder. Interesting. Who wins the Vaults of Helia debate? Because they have um, Azir, which is kind of annoying. Uh, everybody's waiting for Vaults. <laughs> everybody's waiting for the Vaults. Oh, no. This is going to be interesting. Well, I got first vault. What you want? That's the Vigar. Hmm, not a vault. Actually, not a vault. I want them to commit that so that I can hate spike it and actually get the uh, the husk for the vault there, I think. That's a quietus. Uh, I'm going to take that slay proc away from you. Uh, and then the darkness is still three mana. Um... We get a rock bear. We can summon another rock bear. Rampaging Bakai is here. They could have another Quietus. Or they could burn a Soul Harvest to avoid this from working. Hopefully they don't. They do not. Fantastic. We love to see it. Okay, we have a 6-6 six, six Nasus already, which is just kind of unreasonable. Uh, Bakai's at 3 of 4. Okay, great. Castigates in hand. Forsaken Bakai coming down. Did they top deck a vault? I think that might have been their top deck, so the answer is likely no, um, which is exciting. Um, that's three. Okay, I think I'm gonna pass. I mean, rock bear should go down though. This summons a rock bear, so we could have double rock bear, just like hanging around. Uh, they want to do two damage. That's okay, because if they kill that, if they kill the two one. Um, we're fine, because then we can resummon a unit. Okay, mm so they went with that. They can still kill this. Um, that is unfortunate, and that's a round start effect. We could Vigar here. We could actually just Vigar. Um, which summons a Bakai. And then we could summon a Bakai on top of the Bakai. Vigar, Vigar, whoever, you, however you say your name, sir. You annoying fucking yordle. Okay, so their darkness is one ahead. Um, they're gonna have board wipe darknesses soon, which is like kind of scary. Um, we have a quietus here. We have a seven seven nasus. We can also just rampaging bakai and have two whole bakais, or we could go for the eight eight. But they're gonna have vengeances also. Yeah, they're just gonna have vengeances also. I'm tempted to smack their vigar out of existence. I think I might just do that. We also have Castigate, which kills a couple of things here, but I'm gonna go for the Vigar, I think, on the biggest HP unit that they've got at the moment. Mm, so they need to burn a Rite of Negation on that if they want to stop it. And then we have some four fives that can push over their units, which is just pure damage now, which is fine. Um, okay, so they're killing my thing and I cannot stop that. So I draw a card. It is four darkness damage to be fair. We top deck a vengeance. We're gonna go with this. I could have actually killed something with the quietus, which is unfortunate. 
great. They have six mana. They have another Vigar. Uh, it's two to an enemy. We can just kill their Vigar next turn. They don't have mana to cast it right now. Kitten! Hello! Welcome back. Mod in the house! Okay, we have a big Nasus, right? Yeah, so that's a vengeanceable target. <laughs> that is extremely vengeanceable. I feel like they're going to go for it. I feel like that's going to die immediately. Um, so they go for the damage on that, which is fair. I can't take it away from them again. I can just take it away from them again, because if they summon one more Vigar, we actually kind of lose. We actually kind of lose to the Vigar damages, um, which I do not like. Plus, if we do this, we then can quiet us it after, potentially, because it will be a fucking 1-1. Um, and that feels nice. Or we can darkness it with the, with, the, with the Vigar stuff, and then we can continue having a good time. Um, and then if they do anything after any of this, we can then recast the the nasus for almost lethal is that a vengeance is it a vengeance is it a counter spell it's a vengeance correctly fucking baited okay so they kill that which is fine they kill it we kill that which is great um we recast our nasus um and we have a 13 14 fantastic and then you trigger into the vault into the rekindler but we didn't need to think about that because they gave up I need one more win to Masters, I think. One more win? I think it's one more win. Um, yeah, I need one more win. Okay, that's fine. We just gotta believe in the dog. Gotta believe in the doggo. Come on, Nasus. Don't fail me now. See, it works when you top deck Vaults of Helia. It also works when you don't top deck Vaults of Helia, if you're lucky. Um, that's a fucking Masters player. Can you not? Can you not? Is there someone in plat, like plat four? <laughs> or sorry, diamond four that I could just like beat up real casual? Can I do that instead of facing a Masters player who somebody's already made it into the rank that I'm trying to go for? No? I'm doing too good? Oh, unfortunate. Uh, I have stuff to murder. I just now need a one drop or two drop or even the rock bear shepherd thing. That would be useful. Uh, fucking Echo might kick my shit in, but that's fine. Um, I can soul harvest it. Is that relevant? It might be relevant. I think it's relevant to the tune of I don't really have much else to do. So, there we go. Um, if they have a, uh, clockling, an augmented clockling, we can still quiet us that anyway. So I think the drop borders are fine. It's just trying to get to something that the Helia can kill. Which is a Vigar right now, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that is Vigar that we're going to be casting again. And they are finding a scary number of drop orders, to be fair. <laughs> they are finding a scary number, and the Echo is going to be here, like, now, unfortunately. Um, I guess we Vigar, unless they Echo now. If they Echo now, we're fucked. Well, we're not fucked, but we just have to vengeance it immediately. Um... Yeah, that's an echo, right? No, it's a clock link. Okay. Um, so we're going to use this on the clock link. Because it's really the only small target that we've, like, kind of uninteractable. That deals two damage to me. We cast Vigar. Um, we get a darkness increase in damage so it does go up to three which is nice we then have the vaults and we just kind of have to hope that Vigar doesn't die <laughs> doesn't matter how many targets i have if Vigar dies uh or how much darkness damage it does if the Vigar dies um we might be able to get this to four right because the turn ends and then the round start and then the round start effects go uh scrying sands has found another drop border drop number number th drop number drop number drop number number three <laughs> Whatever those words I was trying to say were, um, some of them worked out. Some of them worked out. So you make me a rampaging Bukai. That's fine. Uh, Nasus is getting to the point where it will actually start being a threat. That's a voice of the prison. Nothing is leveled yet. We're looking at a lot of damage, but we're not looking at lethal damage. And this will go to four before it gets sacrificed to the vaults. So we get the four six, which is very tanky. And then we have vengeance and we have darkness and we have dogs, many dogs. 
I need them to be not so many dogs, actually. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be bad um, because then the vaults will not have a dog to pull from. Then there will be no dog in general. <laughs> should be bad. <laughs> Which should be quite unfortunate. Uh, they unfortunately do not... We do not trade with the Voice of the Risen. Uh, but they need to find an echo or something before that even, like, happens. Um, so right now... Um, right now... I think we still want to kill that Voice of the Risen, though. I think getting that out of the way when there's no Chrono Breaks around to resurrect anything would be great. I know we're a little bit overkill there find to find a time trick into something um time tricking into what we still have a vengeance open okay that works another time tr or another predict not a time trick just a general predict -y thing um yeah okay so you die, we get a dog. How many is that? It's a not. It's an eight eight. Okay, great. We like it when it's an eight eight. Um, we can attack when it's an eight eight, and then play sentry. Have hate spike around as like backup. Cause oh yeah, nothing, nothing currently blocks fearsome. <laughs> so let's just go with the fearsome damage. I think. Oh, no, that does. Whoops. Right, they have a 3-1. I was like, they don't have anything. They do have a 3-1! Whoops. Okay, so we're looking at... Um, we're looking at Rekindler now. And we still have this Vengeance for Echoes that pop up, so we can spend 4 mana now. Um, they could have Rite of Negation if they cast their Echo now. Right? Because that's 4 mana. I don't have a Rite of Negation after them. Which sucks. So then I think we just Vengeance on the open of the next turn, because we can still block that pretty easily. Oh, actually, yeah, we can just, we can try to Siphoning Strike it now. Um, and if that doesn't work, then we have the Vengeance, hopefully, most probably free to use next turn. Also, it's a fucking hate spikeable target. They did not have anything to deal with my Nasus striking them. So we should be okay, I think. They spent a lot of time looking for an Echo. We have killed their Echo. We currently do not take lethal damage by any means. Well, by some means they could, but probably not, because those only deal one. And then we get the 4-4, and also the Nasus back. And he is a 13-13, and we top deck our counter spell. Ooh, we top deck the counter spell. Hi, Jinx. Um, I'm going to attempt to kill that um, once more um, so that the drop borders deal zero damage overall in general. And then we counterspell. I mean, I guess they could have two rights of negation in hand, but that seems extraordinarily unlikely. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Two damage is okay. They would need to have two jinxes. Uh, if they have two jinxes, then we do take more damage than I would like, but I think we're still okay because they only have one card left. Okay. So currently they have one thing that does a damage. Um... That's a chrono break, but we can destroy a mana gem, and you get nothing out of that. Absolutely nothing. We get masters. No, battle, I have no idea. Woo! Yes, the doggo worked out. I'm, I'm slowly just, I'm just four bumps striking. Woo! We did it. Wait, I start with 100, L 100 LP? Fuck yeah. I'm gonna lose that real fast. Uh, so, Burkana, you were right! I was able to do it. We're in Masters. Fuck yeah! Um, so, my climb is done. My climb is done. Uh, so, I'm going to open up deck submissions here. Uh, so, if you would like to send something in, uh, please feel free to do so. Um, Deck requests are on, and we're going to. I'm gonna up. We're even gonna update the title. Um, uh, okay. Um, yeah, there we go. We didn't. We don't need to think about whether or not we're gonna hit it today. We have already hit it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna delete some stuff actually in here. 
Uh, I no longer need to ever think about, uh, what should we call it? Vaintrox. I never need to think about Vaintrox again. <laughs> I tried playing a little bit and I was like, maybe it will work. Um, but it just wasn't, it wasn't the thing. It just still wasn't the thing to do, apparently. I'm gonna make some more room. Um, just deleting, uh, rel relatively random stuff here. Just to make some spash. Um... Oh yeah, and here's all the eternal stuff, which is relatively untouched, um, just because I have less stuff happening in eternal until ranked comes back. Okay, I mean, I guess like, uh, yeah, what do we want to do now? Um, yeah, uh, until we get a submission, I might actually just continue playing Doggo, because now I don't care. Now I can play Doggo with freedom. I can play Doggo with fucking abandon. Well, not abandon the dog, just saying. I'm not, we're not that kind of, we're not that kind of person. Um, but if we lose, we lose. My, my plays no longer have to be fucking optimal. I need a vault. I need a vault. Silver! Thank you for the deck code. I will play that after this is over. I have my champions. That's a little unfortunate. I have a vengeance! Less unfortunate, but expansive! That's unfortunate, but ex but expansive. That's not gonna work versus a Samira. That's not gonna work versus a Samira. Nope, don't have anything for the Nelligan Edge either. <laughs> this is a good Samira Fizz deck. I went up against the Sam Fizz earlier, uh, a, a Fazira, uh, if you will, which sounds incredibly wrong, so please don't. Um, and uh, I almost actually pulled it out, but I didn't find my cane in time because I was playing cane drops. So I couldn't hook the stupid fizz in time. And then I really ate shit. And I just completely fucking ate shit. Uh, this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Let's just kill something here. Uh, fearsome, probably, because we have things that are small and can block the 3 3, but not fearsome. We're probably dead. Samira Fizz is a good deck. Um, so Rakana, thank you for both deck codes. Appreciate it. We'll bring those in shortly. Okay, we did actually find the Rock Bear Shepherd. Incredible. Um, I'm gonna Vigar and sit on it. Um, no vaults. <laughs> Fantastic. Hopefully, we'll get it up to three damage. Monkey business is here. Monkey business gonna hurt. That's some monkeys up in my business, and not in a good way. Uh, not that there's really any good way, by the way. There's no good way for a monkey to be up in your business. They are small, they are small terrors. Monkeys. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of that. Oh, there's an all out. Fair enough. That's what I assumed that they would be casting on a Sam if I tried to do this to a Samira. Um, but apparently they just do it on a Father Fury. Because they know that I'm very close to dying here. <laughs> we do have Castigate. I mean, Castigate's fairly fun here, actually. Castigate is quite fun here. Um, Because there's a lot I can do with it. And then we just have a Vengeance next turn as well. Oh yeah, let's Castigate the board. Uh, we might die to burn anyway. I mean, there's going to have a bunch of pings in there. Um, Barb Chain is enough. Barb chain. Okay. Uh, boop. We're gonna hold on to this fucking darkness Vigar <laughs> for a long time <laughs> until it can do something. So they draw three cards, which is annoying, but there they go. Uh, Nasus is a 9-9. Nine nine. They do find a Samira. This does four. Or we could just do a Vigar. I think I'm just gonna try and kill the Sam immediately though. Because even if they all out, they can't do it at this point. Okay. We do have Quietus into Hate Spike, potentially. There's a monkey business, so they have Challenger and they have a monkey. So that's going to deal two damage over time, very slowly, quite painfully. Uh, they could have one other thing. They could have one other thing. Um, Challenger is not going to do much. I'm just going to assume that Rock Bear Shepherd is relatively okay. Our HP is rapidly dropping. Rapidly dropping. But if they are running out of resources, then maybe we're okay. We have a Big Nasus. Big Nasus is 
probably going to be what pulls us out of anything here. Um, Quietus is annoying. Uh, but probably not going to work. They have a card. That's fine. If it's Fizz, we're kind of dead. Um, I'm going to get rid of that and see what they do. Because we have to take that damage regardless. So we know. We know we have to take that damage. Um, that's just going to hit us anyway. Despite our best efforts. We can also Red of Negation. You know, they try to put a bunch of things on the stack. But they're mostly burst speed anyway. So that's relatively irrelevant. Uh, right now we're going to be having a 12 and 2. Which is 14. So we're down to 4 here. I mean, no healing. No healing. Okay. So they have stopped me from being able to do that, which is okay. I'm not really sure why. Uh, that's a Jagged Butcher. Okay. I mean, we're still going to Nasus here. So they need to have Nexus damage. They need to have Nexus damage for us to lose. Unfortunately, we're at four, so they probably do. All they need is a couple of Stylish Shots uh, and an Elusive, and we are dead. But that's what we got Hate Spike for. And this uh, Vengeance. Hate Spikes and Vengeance is for that shit. They are down to their last cards. Play your final card, Yugi, the Goon Squad leader! We know they don't have any spells, so we can actually get rid of Fizz for once. They have no spells! We can delete the Fizz! Excuse me, your Fizz, it sucks! It sucks! Get rid of it! Thank you. Um, yeah, I think we can just kind of go around, right? Because that can't block the NASA, so as long as we have enough damage around, we will be fine. Yep. Time to push some units. Hate Spike is also here, uh, but we're just going to go face. Face is the place! This deck is actually... Oh, I love the control tools that it has in it. Never mind, I love the control tools that it has in it. I haven't played a deck that has removal and counter spells in too long. Oh, the elusives warped my brain so hard that it feels like a different game now that I have control. Anyway, we got some deck codes here, so let me bring those in and see what those are. Silver Arcana, thank you for sending a bunch of stuff in here. Um, I have three from you. Um, we'll see how quickly we can get some wins and see, uh, what's up here. Okay. Going over here. Today is the 30th. One more day in July. Um, July 30. Okay. First one. Let's take a look here. See what we got. Uh, viewer, Silver, Freljord, P and Z, Jace. Um, Ice Tech, which is kind of boring, but uh, <laughs> we're going with it. Where's see. Um, Silver, Ice Tech. Um, I'm going to change the loadout. We've been hearing the roar of the rost, I think, enough. Um, Let's do Sentinel Sanctuary. I haven't done that in a little bit. I quite like the Akshon board. It's great. And then we have Hextex. Hextech Poro is adorable. 10 out of 10. We'll use that one. And a fist bump. Um, we're looking at uh, Epic Scrap Traption, Frozen Thrall, Three Sisters, Pharaoh's Financier, Harbinger of Thralls, Mystery Shot, Aftershock, Flash Freeze, Lissandra, Sub Monument, Jace, Dark Lord, Draclorn, Inquisitor, Formula, Hex, Obliterator, Zon Diva, and Buried in ice ooh lissandra jace for a bunch of just large large spells as well i like it let's give it a shot i need to remember the bear denice is in there somewhere um whenever i went up against a freljord deck today i was like oh god did they have buried somewhere um because i am afraid i'm afraid of that um this one yes into ranked we go Um, we're up against Karma Set, unfortunately. <laughs> well, at least we're gonna hit the late game. Only they might hit the late game like three turns before we do. Um, 
We'll just have to pretend that that's fine. Sup monuments here. Um, they have probably ways of removing that, but at least we do have that nice thrall Lysandra combo. Um, Lysandra and her simps. <laughs> uh, okay, sure, let's bank some mana. Let's get this list out. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to playing this, because just because I haven't played Lysandra in a while, this is going to be great. Um, not attacking into that. They've already got the brand pit professional, brat, not brash gambler. They got that pit professional. Um, so we're already kind of worried. I am low key worried already. Uh, all seeing Oracle is probably going for something like buried in ice or something like that. I imagine, um, that's three mana. Sub monument looks kind of okay here. Um, we're going to be just beating puff caps earlier rather than later, which isn't so bad. Um, that's 28. Yeah, it's 28. Eh, not the worst. We've still got our, um... We've still got our Draklorn. Ooh, we got two Draklorns! I'm focusing very much on the Draklorns here, not so much on the, um... The six cost spells here, but I think that's okay just because we got handed so much Lissandra stuff that I think it's fine. Augmented Clockling is here. Nothing has been recalled, which means um, we might actually be able to get our Draklorns to pop a couple of things here, which would be exciting if true. Very exciting if true. Um, okay, that's fine. I have another one where that came from. If you want to get rid of one, that's totally fine. I will happily accept that. They have two mana. They're banking two. Um, I'm not really sure if that helped them a lot. Okay, two puff caps is annoying, but better than taking seven damage. Um, oh, because you wanted it for this turn. You want to flash freeze something here? Uh, we could flash freeze like the four three and then kill it with the with our Draklorn, that we only take uh, five, five times four, 20 puff caps instead. I think I might do that. Again, if they have some way of removing that, we have mana to either recast it or just summon a second one. Though, there's really not much here um, to summon a second one of. Oh, so they're going for the kill, which is fine, because we have a second one. And they know they're afraid of these 8-8s. Eight um, they might have a recall, uh, but we can't really, I don't think we can really afford to pass a turn, so we're just going to summon that. It does obliterate one, so if that goes away, we're a little bit in trouble. Uh, but they don't have recalls, it looks like, because we'd be looking for something like, uh... Yeah, we'd be looking for something that isn't what the, uh, what they have at three mana. Woo! There we go! There's 18. These have already kind of done their job. We get a bunch of little ice shards, which is kind of fantastic here. Uh, we have a second sub monument. Definitely don't want that right now. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do this. And we can go with a 4-5, I think. Because uh, that does threaten... That just straight up threatens lethal, which is nice um for us um 10 is fine i should have cast it i should have cast it um because we're gonna lose that regardless i should have cast it then um there's a set that's okay um i think we do want to start cycling these because we can start looking at getting rid of stuff like the augmented clockling now actually thank god they didn't counter it um Nothing can go wrong with a double sump monument. Absolutely nothing. You are you are correct, actually. I'm I'm clearly not thinking. I want uh, eight. I want that sweet sweet eight puff caps per card. Otherwise, what am I doing really? Um, those get stacked. Yeah, Lissandra sump monument. Such a good good shit. Um, anyway, that's fine. Um, we're gonna ice shard again because we can. Um. And we don't really care about the barrier anyway. They're down to eight. Um, the thralls are doing stuff and things. 
and we like stuff and things. Um, at some point, we should be able to. We should summon another eight eight. Our epic scrap traption is actually getting close to the point of that being able to do stuff. Um, so we don't really take any damage. The set is forced to get its barrier proc over there. We have lethal on attack, so we're just gonna sit here and wait and see what they do. That is a high note. Um, I can recast Lysandra. Um, so I think I'm just gonna recast Lysandra. Okay, we also get another Thrall. Yeah, we have two Thralls just kind of chilling around here. Uh, Set's gonna level soon. Set is gonna level soon. We don't have room anymore for the Scrap Traption, which is unfortunate. Um, they're also not gonna take lethal damage, unfortunately. Um, but that's kind of okay, because we still get Ice Shards off of the list, so we're still dealing relatively consistent damage. I have found all... <laughs> I have found all of my sump monuments, so I could be taking 12, um, I could be taking 12 points of damage for every, or 12 shrooms for every point of damage they could deal to me. Uh, let's not do that, maybe. Let's not do that if we can help it. They're trying to find some stuff. They do have 8 mana now. That is a scary amount of mana. Uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna hold up some mystic shots. Um, uh, right now that is, of course, lethal, however. So they need a counter spell. They have denies, I presume. They are an Ionia deck. Um, they do Ionia things. Um, even if this doesn't work, we're still at 17 HP, which versus PNZ or versus set karma PNZ is just kind of like, yeah, no, I'll take it. I'll take it. So they have an hex obliteration. Uh, that leaves them at five. That does kind of suck. I can't do anything about that. So that kind of sucks. However. I can cast a Scrap Traption for a lot. <laughs> Do I want to cast a Scrap Traption for a lot? Um, I don't see why not. Top deck can get another Drakhorn. Are there three Drakhorns in this? Top deck can get another Drakhorn would be quite helpful as well. Um, there's nothing to obliterate there. Oh yeah, let's actually pass because I don't want their Showstopper to do stuff. Um, that's four and five. That's another Thrall. Um, Karma's here. Karma's gonna duplicate. Ah, uh, we might have been one turn too slow. We were probably one turn too slow then in that case. Um, I can test to see if they have a counter spell. I can test their, uh, their counter spell abilities and then hope that we top deck a unit or that we can actually cast the scrap traption this turn to get something that will allow us to, nope, okay. They did have the, they did have the counter spells. So they have plus four. So they have six mana right now. Eight, sorry. Uh, place your bets has been cast. So they're just gonna find resources. Um, I mean, I probably scrap traption goes anyway. How many cards do you have left? 19. Oh God, here we go. Here we go. Here's the karma stuff going. Um, not really much to do. I can't believe we're one damage off. The frustrating part is that we are still actually one damage off with both of the Mystic Shots, and they've cast Counter Spells. Uh, so we know... We know that we, uh, have used up a lot of them. I just don't think I can actually get through. I mean, maybe if I get a J... I think maybe we just wait for this to count for the J proc for six, and go from there. Um, because we can always top deck him. That's the thing. Um... One set has been killed. No karmas have been killed. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. That's four. Ah, uh, yeah, we're running out of time. We're running out of time for sure. We can try to obliterate that. Um, and then scrap traption. Um, this should level the Jace anyway. They probably have picked a counter spell for it though, because they've gotten a couple of all seeing oracle procs out of this. Yep, there's that. Um so that's one of their targets from the Owl Seeing Oracle. I don't know if they would have picked this card. It would suck if they picked this card for sure. Um, they have 17 cards left, but they're still making... Uh, Karma's still gonna be able to do stuff. Come on, Scrap Traption. Come on, Scrap Traption. That's death. I think it's death. It's probably death anyway. Um, seven seven brash is okay. Um, as a, there are a couple things that do block it. 
Uh, deal seven is the perfect amount of damage, though. Damn it. Okay, we're probably dead. We're probably dead because I'm still entirely unable to get that last damage with the Mystic Shots. They could have also... Actually, this is probably a target that they picked a counter spell for. Uh, seven is unfortunate, so we're dead. I think we're dead. Uh, set is here. Let's do this. Um, advance by a round? Yeah, we needed that earlier. If we'd been able to get that earlier when they weren't able to interact with our board as much, then we might have been able to do something with it, actually. Um, but not much really to be done now about it. There's a chance we get 188, but even then, it's not going to do very much. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, no blockers here. No way to block. Uh, we have how many now? Yeah, we're dead, probably. We're probably dead, right? Uh, 157 on 24 cards? Ooh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, there's the Mystic Shots. Um, I'm gonna just put mine on the stack, uh, to show them how close we were to lethal. To show them how close you were to lethal. Damn, there's no way... There's no way we get it now, I think. One damage off. Ah, uh, such is the way of the set karma, I suppose. Yup, that's eight. Oh, that's eight puff caps. Ah, oh, damn it. I even waited until their mana was low. Still didn't matter. Still did not matter. Let's try that again. We got close. We just, yeah, we just need an opponent uh, to... I think it might have actually been that one Ice Shard that I didn't cast that cost me the game. Because if I had cast that first Ice Shard instead of uh, trying to keep the Draklorn around for literally no reason, uh, we might have actually been able to do that extra point of damage that uh, we needed for that for that turn. Um, so that's on me. That's a Nardarius Samira scenario. Uh, sure? Okay. Um, I don't hate any of that. I actually kind of want the Thrall start. I actually like Thrall start before, so let's try and get it again. That's not the Thrall start, unfortunately. <laughs> I need the Frozen Thrall! Never mind, we got it. Never mind. We have it. It's here. It's ready for action. We also have a Jace. I will Hexbliterate something eventually. <laughs> um, okay, so we have Scrap Traption and Hexbliterator to trigger the Jace. And do other things. Uh, let's do... Hmm. Let's do summon, I think. Sorry, and it's job, so let's kill the saboteur. They're looking for plunder procs, and they're looking to get my nexus low, which I'm glad we have the flash freeze then, because um, then we can bank to be able to use it for something later. Iron Ballista is a 5-4. That sucks. Sucks to be facing an Iron Ballista like that, unfortunately. Lissandra's here. That just goes... I think we obliterate this. Trigger one of the six cost spells. Um, we're at 18. There's another Omen Hawk. We're gonna go up to six. Um, so we could trigger some Jace. I might actually just go for Lissandra, though, and then try to get the tra Scrap Traptions to get the Lissandra to level for the, uh, for the Watcher, maybe? That's pretty greedy, though. That is, like, the greediest option of them all. Um, so not sure if that's a great idea. <laughs> could use another bird. Ah, Exploderator's good, though. Exploderator's actually kind of nice. Um, Scrap Traptions also kind of okay. That gives me a 9-9 with Brash. Um... I don't hate it. Against two Glacial Saurians, not the worst. Though we would have to take five damage from something else, which gets us relatively close to dying to uh, Darius or something. If we Otherwise, we would get rid of the 6-5. Eh, the Scrap Traption's still not looking too bad. Could get Frostbit, of course, but I think I'm actually going to go for the greedier. I'm going to go for the greedier, let's level Jace, and also like, get Lissandra to see... Um, expensive allies happen. Let's let's do that instead. Oh, you don't count for it? Oh, it's only one on the mana cost. Never mind. We, we proc the Jace anyway, which is fine. Um, 
So that's going to get bigger. It's going to hit one of the Saurians. It's going to be a 5-5. We can block one of the birds if they even bother to attack with the birds. Um, they do attack, attack with the birds. Uh, let's block you and you. We're down to seven, so Darius triggers. But we have uh, Explitterator still. And he's a... Ooh, but no, he's a 10-7. It's a 10-7, but we have Frostbites then. So we can poke it with one of our units uh, and then go... Uh, hopefully worry about it a lot less. <laughs> um... Three, four, or five. We have some monument. Um, I'm gonna rely on the freezes and the explitterate, I think, and go for Jace here. Um, let's go for quick attack, I think. Maybe. I really need another bird, thrall bird. I need thrall burb. Give me thrall burb, please. Uh, this is actually pretty risky for him, though, because he can die. He can die pretty easy to what happens over there. Um, I think we just pass here. That's two away. Oh, boy. Some monuments here. Some monuments kind of going to kill us anyway, though, because the, we're at 7 HP. If we're at 14, it would be a lot better, but we're really, 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 really low. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So we need, let's see, 6 and... We have need 12. We have 11. Uh, so we're not able to do that quite, but we have a couple things that we can certainly sacrifice in the name of surviving all of this. Um, that gives Challenger to something, probably kills a 9-3, I am assuming. No problem. Kills a 9-3, okay. So we can't really take any of this to the face. Uh, we can block Bird. We can block that. Um... We can try to Hexbliterate over here and then Frostbite something else. Uh, so that way we don't actually take any damage. We do trade everything except Lissandra, but we don't take any damage. Um, which I think is probably fine. Really wish I had that last freeze around, but it's okay that we don't. Relatively okay that we don't. So it's a Tusk Speaker and a buffed Samira that's still around. That's a Battle Fury, and we are dead we are dead to the battle fury yeah that's just overwhelmed x that's fair that's just overwhelmed x i needed that last mana but they were one turn ahead just one turn ahead of us regardless okay you don't know what you've done. uh let's try that again one more time into the breach We're up against Diego Gwen. At least it's not Red Gwen. At least someone's not trying to bring, bring back Red Gwen right now. That would uh, that would be annoying. All right, Dracoons are great. Frozen Thralls are great. We're gonna have so many Thralls. I'm ready for the Thrall plays. That's a Sump Monument also, fantastic. We're gonna get that early out ASAP. Just so early, just so early. We need it versus fucking Hallowed, because I don't have anything to do against the Hallowed except Buried in Ice for, like, a turn later. Um, let's hold that for when we can really, really use it. Um, probably with the Dracon on the field. Um, so, yeah, I think it's some monument time. We're building that landmark board. There's an Opulent Foyer, so that's going to be powerful. They probably cast a Gwen next turn on top of everything else. Um, that's a Camivoran soldier, not a Gwen actually, uh, which is kind of helpful for me. That's five and six. Uh, let's block here anyway. I think we still block there. We're taking six. We get into twelve. We cast Rackloran. Um. We should have eight eights by the or one eight eight by the end of the next turn, um, which means we have an eight eight going into Viego or or Gwen stuff that might be happening. Please do not kill him. He is very important. That's three. 
that's three eight eights that are incoming. If we kill something there, we're gonna just kill proc a hallowed for them. That doesn't have it though, so I'm tempted to mystic shot it, but I think I'm gonna pass. I think I'm gonna pass. With the sub monument, I'm like a little bit more confident here. I don't want you to draw though. I do not want you to draw. If you have another glimpse beyond, I'm gonna force you to use it. No draw, no resources. No resources! So they have like three hallowed? Yeah, so Draclorn is gonna die. <laughs> Draclorn is unfortunately gonna die. Um, so we have an 8 8. We're gonna get another one at the end of this turn. We do have a Hexbliterator, which we can use on a Viego, I think. Yeah, it's a 7 6. It's small, it only has a Chemivor and Soldier. Uh, I guess they could kill something here to potentially buff him up. Um, they do buff us something up there. They summon a mist. My Draclorn is still intact, though, so we have the 8-8 to block regardless. Okay, it's an 8-1. Um, that's Spell Shield, unfortunately. Uh, we're just gonna do that, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. 23 on 30. Plus eight, so what is that? 31 on 30, totally fine. We got a bunch of eight eights here. Could use a Lissandra just to give our Nexus tough, I think. Uh, but for now, let's just go a little bit to the face place, see if we can't get another one off of another Draclorn Inquisitor at some point. Um, Viego is getting larger, which sucks, but hopefully we'll be able to bury it in ice soon enough to get him to shut the fuck up. Uh, Fey Guide, oh, an elusive. They made the Viego elusive. What a time to be alive. Reggie, I need you to give me something real good here. Um, let's see. Um, Shaman's Call actually currently kills Viego. <laughs> that actually currently kills Viego. Assuming they, do, they don't buff him more. Uh, something has already died this turn. And I kind of like the idea of making our boys bigger in general. True Shot Barrage is a guarantee, is like a better, I think, call potentially, but Shaman's Call is funny. Shaman's Call is funny. Uh, let's see. Um, let's do this. Uh, and see if we can't actually just murder him now. I'd like to murder him now so we don't have to think about taking nine damage um, to the face. We're adding four puff caps. We're paying the price of four puff caps uh, per turn by doing this, or per interaction by doing this. We're also dealing a damage to them every single time, so we're also getting them within Mystic Shot uh, interactions, which is great. Um, doesn't matter if you kill it. Oh, Spirit's Refuge! Fair enough. Okay, well, at least you're not benefiting from the lifesteal off of that. <laughs> There's no lifesteal benefit from that. So if we get to a couple Mystic Shots, we should be able to finish, it, finish the deal there. Um, four is annoying, but fine. Gwen is here. I don't have mana for Buried in Ice, though, because I did all that. I think we should have waited for Buried in Ice. That was my mistake. Uh, if we lose because of that, that is my own fault. <laughs> that is my own fault, for sure. So that becomes large. That we cannot deal with. The Gwen drains and is also just kind of uninteractable. Uh, let's do this so that we're preserving some overwhelm. Um, Viego's going to level. Oh, so he's going to start stealing the thralls as well. But if we buried an ice, we should be okay. Do we just take the Gwen? I'm going to risk taking the Gwen to the face. Which in case, I guess in that case, we should probably just do that. Um, because then we're going to be taking the 6, plus the Viego, plus the Drain, but not taking the 7 damage from the Gwen there. Okay. Yep. Plus 24, plus 28. No, it's 11, actually. Is it 11? Yeah, it's 11, so it's 44. Um, and then plus 8 from the Gwen, which is, like, relatively not the biggest problem. Uh, let's do this. That's gonna go down to five. That's a black spear, so they're going... But they're still gonna have a four, five up to hit them in the face with, even if they... 
I mean, the thing that we're afraid of is that they have a counter spell right now. If they don't have a counter spell right now, we're okay. Which is kind of amazing. I'm just gonna rip this. Okay, so we have a 4-5. That goes face. That's a Hydra Vine. That loses there. Uh, let's do this. Because then we just need to hit them with one of these things. And then we have Mystic Shot to finish the job. Um, so both of these go. That's lethal. They block the 4-5. We get them down to 1 HP. And then we have a Mystic Shot. And I don't think they can do anything about it. Um, I don't think they can do anything about it in particular. Also, it's only the 7-2, which we can block because they have no room. <laughs> there is no room on their board. Uh, so let's block here and then shoot their face, uh, I think, is the call. Please don't have Nopa Fire Deny. They don't have Nopa Fire Deny. We got to win! Thralls in Masters. Fuck yeah. All right. Uh, moving on to the next deck submission here. Uh, another one from Silver Arcana at the moment. Um, and getting you back that 15 LP. Fuck yeah. Mm, should have room. I do have room. Viewer. Uh, Silver. We're looking at Demasi or Sharima. And the Galio. Buffed boys. It's, I was actually thinking about Gorlith the earlier today. I don't know if there's a Gorlith in this one, but I was thinking about Gorlith and I was like, man, I should really try to make Gorlith work again. Uh, because I miss I miss running it. Oh my god, there's so many champions. Uh Ancient Prep, Forsaken Bakai, Silence and Suppressed, Duran Sculpture, Petrocyte Broadwing, Aegis, Avenging Vistaya, Quick Sand Shield, Duran Altar to Unity, Nidalee, Silverwing, Vanguard, Garen, Kaisa, Siphoning Strike, Jarvan, Nasus, Priestess of Desert Light. Fuck yeah. Uh, and Galio. So we want to hit Priestess as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Um, there's no pasta involved, unfortunately. As soon as possible. Um, and go from there! Fuck yeah. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Oh yeah, I guess if we can also heal the Priestess somehow. I got handed a Priestess Udyr deck once that was supposed to buff um, Priestess um, with regeneration so she'd heal herself every single turn. Uh, that was a fun concept. That was a fun concept as well. Um, Durand is good. Altar to Unity is nice. Do we want the equipment? I don't actually hate the idea of holding onto the equipment at least early on. Silverwing Vanguard is okay. It will make my birds chunky if I Durand into Altar of Unity. I've got so many Durand sculptors. Holy shit. <laughs> We're going to be buffing their HP so much. Hi, Galio. What's up, Galio, my man? You have Heimerdinger Nidalee. All right, Hammerbonk Nidalee is potentially going to be annoying. We do have two of those, which is nice because they took one away from me. They removed one of my Duran sculptors. How dare. Uh, Burbo is also here, but we're going to Duran first. They have another drop the bomb. I'm going to be annoyed. Um, going to be quite perturbed. Uh, I'm going to buff it. <laughs> Because I'm worried. Now they have to deal four damage to it instead of two. Try to fucking drop the bomb on it now, motherfucker. Um, they might still succeed, but it's okay. Um, so there's a silence and suppress. Might just alter to unity now anyway. Or we could go with the birds, but I think I might just alter of unity here. Um... Also, after a long battle of various depression and thinking of quit playing the game, you completed this motherfucker pass. Congratulations on finishing the pass. It is a long one. Um, I think it's what, 70, 740 points or something? It's long. Like, I'm, I played Runeterra a decent amount, and I'm only at like 400 points or so. Um, but enjoy having it done. That's pretty neat. Okay, so they have a pocket cub, and they have another ambush. I'm just going to pretend that it's fine 
and it's not on Italy. That's definitely not a little Italy TM. Okay. <laughs> uh, you hit my nicest for one. You don't want to play Viego? That's fair enough, I would say. Just not a fan of his uh, Hydrovine mist buffing shenanigans. I used I played like a tiny bit of Viego when like Thresh Viego was a thing, which by now is like really a really long time ago. Um, but I gave that a shot a couple of times, and I was like, this is this is not for me. I don't think. Um, or on strike seven or more damage at once oh that does that does sound annoying that does sound annoying uh that's gonna transform into nidalee yep told you definitely not a nidalee definitely not a nidalee <laughs> um let's see we've got two of six on the evolve so not very much to do there uh we have nothing to block fearsome so we're just gonna skip that block i'm amazed they didn't also go with the nidalee but i suspect uh, what they're going for is probably that they want, they're afraid of like form up or something on the 2 4. Maybe? Hard to tell what they're worried about the most, but either way, I understand them backing the fuck off. Uh, let's do this, I think. Those are 4 4s now. Excellent. Plus a 2 4 challenger, but it's formidable, so it's basically a 4 2. Um,. Let's pull Heimer and Nidalee if we can, and then try to go for the Pocket Cub. Um, we can also silence the Pocket Cub, though, to be fair. Uh, so maybe we don't have to worry about that much too much. Um, go, birds. We have more of them, too. And that deck uh, in Nidalee is amazing that she transforms more often. Ah, uh, that wouldn't surprise me. Um, they definitely want the Nidalee to be transforming so they get the Javelins. Um, though I feel like I see Avenging Vistaya more than anything else when it comes to Ambush. <laughs> it's like, oh yes, it's Avenging Vistaya. Uh, if they're not running in Italy. Okay, so they have a stun there. Uh, so they're choosing to keep the Heimerdinger instead of the Nidalee, which is fine with me. It means she doesn't get to level, at least. At least not for now. Um, Jarvan is here somewhere. That's good. I think we're gonna ambush or put this down as a brush just because we can. They definitely suspect that that's an avenging Vistai because we don't have regular Nidalee. Um, we can sacrifice a bird and then cast recast Burb. Um, is there anything we want to silence? I might silence a 2 2. I might silence a 2 2 because I don't like it. Um,. So there's my actually if they cast a six cost and they have an elusive that's gonna be way worse so let me actually hold off on that one a little bit um that's maybe another nidalee or something uh we can also kaisa here though we're actually not witnessing enough she words in general to get her super far ahead uh but we're not gonna cast the birds and we're not gonna cast the galley immediately um prefer garen kale altar of unity Garen is nice. Garen is for nice for sure with the with the synergies. Um, this one's just more experimental. It's it's a priestess of light deck, uh, but currently I have the Demacia the Demacia end of it, which is kind of interesting to have to work with. Uh, let's block here. That's formidable. I care about formidable? Not really. They have burst speed spells potentially. That's probably more likely for fast speed spells. Um. Let's do this. Need repairs? That's actually fine, I think. So the Kaisa goes down to two. Our uh, Durand is okay for now. If that's a spell, that's fine. Um, that doesn't... Does that kill her? Oh, it does because there's enough um, units. I'm going to do this then. Uh, spell shield has been witnessed by the Kaisa now, so we're at four of six. There we go. Um... That's also Avenging Vistaya, so I get countered in return. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Eventually, we need, find, need to find Priestess, though. Eventually, we'll find Priestess. Two or three mana left. You get Heimerdinger Prox. We have more birds to summon. Um, so that should be fine. Then Galio will happen eventually. 
Uh, there's one. How much power have you witnessed? Okay, so you're gonna get there potentially next turn. Uh, we need to bird before they do that. <laughs> if we can bird before they do that. Um, one spell and it's unfortunately gonna get summoned. Though, it depends on if it's a burst spell. Their six speed spell, six cost spells might not be burst unless they have, um, yeah, unless they have something like, um, formula in hand, I guess? Uh, Mahira, the Kale, and the Zolani versions. Definitely more familiar with Zolani in general. Because I played the Siren Zolani deck that was running around for a while. Um, yeah, we're going to do this first. And then they probably counter us in general. But they're 4-5, so that's nice. Um... <clears throat> Italy can man bush, I suppose. I mean, their stuff is weak right now. Stuff is relatively small, but they just need a burst spell. They just need a burst speed spell. Um, hopefully they don't have any and that they're done casting small things or fast speed, burst speed things. Please be done. Please be done with the burst speeds. Yeah, I don't think we have time to cast in Italy. We're just going to face regardless. You didn't have anything. That is extremely promising. Okay, uh, let's take your shit. Let's take your shit. They might have another Heimerdinger, which is why they're also letting this through. Uh, in which case... It does have to reset. Our Jarvan's leveled. Still no Priestess. Uh, give me a Priestess, please. Please give me a Priestess. That's a Shadow again! Uh, that's okay. Uh, can I just shut that off? No, doesn't really matter because it's in the brush. Um, I'm gonna do this. Oh, wait, no, we do have an Italy. They're actually, they might think that's an Italy now. Um, it's all right that we have it out, though. Okay, they have six mana, they have three cards. Uh, Gallia would be nice. They get a portal. They find a pocket cup off of the portal, which is kind of great. <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of funny. All right. Big game tycoon is coming down. So it's large, but it might not find anything that kills us. Take his wallet. Uh, I'm, we'll do my best to try and take his wallet. Don't worry. Um, wallet taking will happen. Will be happening if I can help it. Um, let's do that. Cause then I can also siphoning uh my shit afterwards um and that'll be great and then i can also i can just siphoning the big game tycoon uh and challenge the rest of the stuff and transform the nidalee and everything will be great um that's an all-terrain trooper which gives that vulnerable which is fine because i'm about to do stuff they don't have a right of negation so this should go for free. That's not a right of negation. Oh, it's Avenging Nastaya, though. They did have another one of those. That's fair, actually. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, so they take my Duran, but that's okay. Um, uh, they take the they take the Duran, but that's okay. Very Andre! Hello and welcome back. How's it going? Um, they cannot attack, though. <laughs> or I guess they can. If they want to lose everything? I'm surprised... I'm surprised. What's your HP right now? 31 of 25, so we can afford to lose 6. We can afford to lose 6 HP, so if we leave one of the two power units unblocked, we still actually manage to level the Galio. Um, which I think is fine. Yeah, let's just level the Galio, to be honest. Um, because we'll still be able to do that, even if they swing later. Um, No worries. Pop in and out as you need. Thank you for stopping by uh, for this amount of time, regardless. Might be on later. Um, yeah, she's been streaming up for a couple hours, or almost a couple hours now, so been been chugging along. Oh, 21 to 25. I did lose some HP that I thought I wouldn't be losing there. That's unfortunate. Uh, but that should still be okay as well. Uh, I'm going to think we can cast Jarrell. Let's just cast Jarrell regular as, as a 5-5 five five with tough. Now we're at 26, 25. We can still transform as well, which is great. Let's take that away from them. Um, 
Let's see here. Actually, I do want to... Can we buff anything? No, we can't. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Let's pull that. Uh, let's pull this. Let's pull one of these guys. That does kind of sort of trade. That's not the worst. Um, we're sacrificing Galio HP, but that should be fine. We can transform the Nidalee in a second. Let's go with this. Uh, Dragon Dre, if you want to submit it in the queue, please feel free to go ahead with that. Um... That's a 1210. Okay. Uh, we can silence that, so that should be okay. Let's do this. We only have one mana. 5 7. Yeah, and then let's just silence that so they don't have <laughs> uh, anything to do with Overwhelm. I was like, do they summon a Pyrophant with the big game tycoon? They didn't do summon the Pyrophant. Um, that's a little unfortunate, but uh, now it is a 6 5 that does nothing. Now it is a 6-5 that can't do anything. Okay, let's summon our Duran Sculptor here. All right, let's, get to work. let's back. We're at 1 of 4 on the Nidalee. Probably could do a little bit more with that. Uh, eventually I'll find another champion. That's an Avenging Vestaya. Um, let's do this. You're at 2 of 4. You're at 17 of 25. We still need more HP, which is just really frustrating. <laughs> uh, so frustrating. Um, if that's a Nidalee, we're in trouble. So I think we just leave that unblocked and then... Oh, it's a Heart Helenatus. Okay, that's fine. Uh, an 8-4 is unfortunate for sure. Um, so I think we can just block with the 5-1 and the 5-7. Uh, that should be okay. Because if they have a spell here, we can just counter it with our Vegenging Vestaya. Um, silence both. Uh, they cast it at burst speed, so I couldn't do anything before it anyway. Um, okay, so that gets countered. We still have our Nidalee. Uh, we can silence that. They might have another card, but then they're spending everything to deal with one Nidalee, which is fine. Um... And then we're still going to be relatively stronger here. Because uh, we can get rid of all of their stuff. Yeah, that's fine. They ping a spell shield. And then we, yeah, we can silence the tycoon while we're at it. So that's the 5-1. Um, we need to get a good top deck, though. Because the Perilous Pastry is not going to do very much. Uh, for them to win, but we do need something better. Okay, Priestess of Desert Light is, like, finally here. So we'll get a couple of procs off of her, at least, which is good. 17 of 25 on the Galio is something a little higher, but right now they also can't kill anything. Portal Scholar is fine. Uh, unless they find something, we have a relatively risky open attack, so I'm just going to ignore that and let the Priestess of Desert Light do her thing. There's the Charvin. Which gives me cataclysms, which means I can do things again. That's a 9-9 nine, nine as well. <gasps> oh, excellent, excellent. Um, well, eventually I get cataclysms. This is a round start effect, so we get it next turn. Quicksand is actually a great top deck here, because uh, then we can stop whatever they want to do. We also have the Jarvan just barriered up and ready to block, baby. Uh, 22 of 25 on the HP, not going to improve, certainly, over the next turn, but Priestess will summon us our Nasus, I believe, which works for me. Oh, no, it gave us the Garen. That's also fine. Garen is also fine in this scenario. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go with this, and we're going to go try and smack the thingy. We're going to try and smack the thingy, except we don't need to smack the thingy because they surrendered! Oh, that was a grindy game, but we got it in the end, so fuck yeah. That was fun. So who's next? Okay, fantastic. Uh, moving right along, we have another deck from Silver. Um, so let's go take a look at that for now. Um, boop. 40 at 60 on the Jarvan, because the Jarvan actually got to do some stuff. <gasps> oh, the Jarvan was actually leveled, of all the things. Um, all right. Another deck here from Silver. We have Nora P and Z. Um, Grandma goes to Piltover. Um, where did this one end up? Uh, it is down. Is it down here? 
It is. Oh, is this Eternal? If it's Eternal, it will be the first Eternal. Yeah, it's Eternal because of the Pokey Sticks. All right, here we go. Uh, Acorn, Otterpus, Pytos, Platovin, Telstones, Trick or Trade, Conchologist, Condense, Junk Construct, Mystic Shot, Nora, Pokey Stick, Augmented Clockling, Puzzling Signpost, Portapalooza, Mirror Mage, and Glorious Evolution. Oh, we've got Mirror Mage, Glorious Evolution. This is going to be fucking funny. Uh, if we can do it, of course. But if we can get the Nora engine uh, up and running, that will be fantastic. I believe in the Nora. Um, or at least I want to believe in the Nora. Yeah. Casual Eternal, because there's no ranked Eternal yet. Come on, it'll come back eventually. I trust. I have to trust that it'll come back one day. <gasps> ah! Oh, wait. No, it booted me out of the server. No, it booted me out of the server! Put me back in! Is no one playing casual Eternal right now? <laughs> Are we about to be in a, in a long... A long waiting time for this? Hopefully not. Ah! We've got a Felios set? Okay. That works. I'm fine with that, I think. I want to keep it all, but I will only keep the glorious evolution because I have an acorn and it will make it cheap. Maybe not fast enough, but it'll make it hopefully affordable. Uh, and then we've got portals and we shall have a party. Shall have a portal party. Maybe I'll also find a Nora, who knows? Mmm, please don't kill this. I don't think you can super easily with the Ionia Targon bullshit. Also, I unfortunately top decked two glorious evolutions for that perfect symmetric hand. Um, I really wanted one so that I both don't get discounted alternately by my acorn. Um, but you know, it's okay. It will be fine. At least we got one to hit. So we do have a nine cost glorious evolution. We do have a nine cost. Um... Progress has been made. That's not what we like to call progress. That's what we like to call fucking annoying. <laughs> ah, I want to get rid of it. Because it's in the way. <laughs> now it's in the way of my acorn. Tragedy has struck. Um, I can pie toss and then uh, Perilous Pastry it so it gets a hit this turn. And then hopefully we get to go next turn for, you know, two. <laughs> Nine cost glorious evolutions. But we're we're gonna we're gonna try and live the dream. We're gonna try and live the dream, even if it's not the most efficient. Uh, let's otter puss here. Cast the pussy. We get a prank. We get yeah. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking that as a trick and trade, it's not a trinket trade. It is a regular fucking otter puss. <laughs> um, so I can't. Yeah, we just we're gonna have to rely on the perilous pastry if I want to get rid of the accountant, which hopefully I can this turn. They don't cast anything to buff it. It'd be quite unfortunate if they did after all of my work. After all of the effort I'm going to. Um, does this work? They might have a pale cascade. They do not have a pale cascade. That works for me. We get an acorn to hit once more. Uh, it's another octopus. That's great. We're gonna do this. I have a nine cost. Ooh, they're doing veiled temple stuff. Okay, fair enough. Kind of forget that card's a thing sometimes. We get a sparkle fly. That is insane. <laughs> oh my god, sparkle flies here. I should have cast this before when I was attacking, but I didn't realize it would high roll like that. Didn't realize the high rolls would be free flowing. Um, concurrent timelines. It's funny as fuck. And it would be funny as fuck with something like Mirror Mage and uh, other stuff on the field. Do I take Concurrent? That's just a crazy fucking thing for that to be generating. Fuck it, we'll take a Concurrent Timelines just to see what it can do. Pull my Sparkle? Aw, oh, it didn't pull the Sparkle. They knew! They knew that that would probably be less of a threat than Acorns. <laughs> Which sucks, unfortunately for us. 
Um, let's just go for face here. It's a pie toss again. Everybody goes to town. Taking four damage. Um, eight mana glorious evolution is actually affordable, like, right the fuck now. Uh, I'm gonna do it! I'm actually, well, okay, let me prank first to see if they have any, like, any, you know, counter spells and shit. Uh, so far it doesn't look like they have any counter spells and shit. So I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna try the first glorious evolution in eight mana. It does actually work. It has actually happened. We were able to cast a glorious evolution. Oh, so they were filling some mana there. They had another um, another one of those. That kind of sucks. Okay, they're healing. Pit grit. I've never heard that voice line before for some reason, and I don't know if I want to drink the pit grit from the smooth mixologist. Not sure if that's super high on my list, to be honest with you. Maybe the power on the overwhelm, I guess? Um, Sparklefly is getting pretty good here, though it's going to die to the set pretty soon, which is unfortunate. Uh, we get a Startled Stomper, which is overwhelm as well. Ooh, they're going for that, though, which is kind of funny. They didn't actually go for the Sparklefly, which uh, surprises me a lot. <sighs> it actually surprises me a lot. Uh, let's go for Junk. I'm debating on the... Um, Kind of debating on the concurrent now. I feel like it's still worth casting, though. Just need to remember that it's activated, because then we need to make sure that we are not overwriting our Mirror Mage somehow, because that would fucking suck if we overwrote the Mirror Mage in some capacity. Um, let's get rid of that if we can, because that sucks if we have a Sparkle Fly on the field. There's a Cloven Way, getting rid of my attack with the Sparkle Fly. Let's just do this then. We hit another... Ooh, we get a Legion Grenadier, which is kind of bullshit. Uh, let's go with... Ooh, a Condense. <laughs> oh my god, we could go with a Condense or something like that. It is zero... Or one mana, sorry, because it's normally more expensive. Uh, we could overwrite the Sparkle Fly. Uh, we get a Fuzzy Caretaker, um, which is kind of nice. I think we're just going to open attack, though. Um, let's pull this on the 7-3 that has Overwhelm. That's currently lethal. Um, we're gonna poke uh, with our sticks. That's almost lethal. It's actually really fucking close to lethal. Uh, that doesn't heal, but it does level the set. Um, he only is invincible when attacking, though. Not otherwise. Okay, so that's a dead set and a living 7-3. Ah, uh, they have the tag outs, which is fair enough. Um, down to eight. Okay. They have Karma. No, they have Aphelios. And for some reason, I'm thinking this is Karma. They actually only have Aphelios. Uh, the Aphelios is still bad. But still bad. But it's not as bad as it could be. Uh, the Ravenous Butcher is fine. Ravenous Butcher is fine. Showstopper is there. Um... Obliterate an enemy. Okay, so the showstoppers are going to be annoying for sure. This still hits them in the face, though, which is great. The, um... Oh, no, it doesn't because of the obliterate. Uh, let's go for another glorious evolution, I think. Uh, they only have one mana, so it will make everything super cheap. Uh, and see what we can do here. Uh, I'm going to poke face, draw a card... It's an 11-1. We have Condense, so we can make more Sparkle Flies if we really need to. We can make so many fucking Sparkle Flies if we need to. <gasps> Holy shit! I'm gonna sparkle it up over here. That's a free Mystic Shot. That's what we'd like to see. That's some Bout Securities. Uh, let's see how many Bout Securities they feel like casting. So I'm gonna just do this, to be honest with you. Uh, ooh, no, that's not it. That is unfortunately not it. Ah, uh, that's okay though, because we're still gonna be able to make more. Okay, about securities. They do have quick attack though, which is kind of a death knell for my very, very small 
for a very small units. God damn it, they still win! They still win because my condensed doesn't make things that are larger than one HP. Because everything is cheap, the, um, uh, the, uh, everything is cheap. The condenses don't actually help, or the concurrent Thomas didn't actually help. Yeah, I shouldn't have played that, actually. I wasn't thinking of the discounting of the Glorious Evolution. I was just like, this will be fine. It was less than fine. No. Damn it. Absolute tragedies. Two Glorious Evolutions for naught. That's fucking Red Yasuo or whatever you want to fucking call it. Uh, it's been a while since I had to go up against Stun Yasuo and I don't like it. I don't want to deal with it. Uh, okay, we got the Glorious back. It really loves me, this Glory. Ah, it really loves me, Glorious Evolution. I need acorns. Please give me an acorn. <laughs> Please, an acorn? That's an Augmented Clockling. I'm confined another one to make it, uh, cheaper with the Augmented Clockling, uh, which is clearly perfect and entirely what needs to happen. Okay, well, we're just gonna do this for now, and hopefully it doesn't get stunned. It does not. That's a Fey Blade Twirler. That sucks. We're gonna jump Construct. Um, we got Portal Palooza now. That's another Nora. Backup Nora is always good to have. Um, Yasuo's are not as good to have. They have a stun. They didn't, oh, they didn't even attack despite their quick attack, which is kind of funny. Uh, we have a assisted librarian. I'm just gonna cast probably Clockling into Acorn here, I think. Uh, ooh, we can pick an acorn and then cast two acorns and then discount each of our glorious evolutions again. Uh, four or less. Uh, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Okay, well, at least I have acorns, I guess. That really sucks. <gasps> oh my god, that really sucks. Okay, that's the level, right? Yeah, that's the level. Oof. I didn't expect Reckoning. I lined up so perfectly for it, too. Alright, well, I have an acorn. Did they have a Steel Tempest or something? Doesn't really matter if they have a Steel Tempest because I'm still dead. Uh, but it'd be funny if they bothered to cast one on a 1 1. Like, it's not really going to give me too much more value anymore. Like, it's just not. There's not much it can do at this point. Okay, it's giving me a lot of Paloozas, but not much else to do. Uh, let's see, that's 18 plus 3. Ooh, no, we're dead now. We're dead now. We are dead now. Because the Blade Twirler is giant. Oh god, so many stuns! Well, we have this Nora. Have a Nora. Uh, they have 11 damage then if I block the 15-3. Which is something at least. Uh, so much for casting the Glorious Evolutions. So much for that one. Not really uh, able to do that so much anymore. I do have a uh, Mirai Songstress, which is absolutely jack shit! Exciting. I found three portals. I found so many portals. I have portals galore! Oh my god, so many! <laughs> um, does this help at all? Um, uh, I want to say yes, but also it's just kind of awkward still. It's still just very awkward, this one. Um... We can technically attack with everything and then get sunned immediately. That'll be fun. I have a tentacle. That's nice. Tentacles are nice. Who doesn't love a little tentacle action happening? Um, I did hit an appropriate number of portals for what we like to call living, but um, this doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Does not look like it's going to be enough. We have three Brocklers, they have three attackers. Um, we have a Guile. What's up, Hillock is gonna kill the 3-1. Uh, 
Uh, oh no, it kills it now, of course, because then the round start happens as well. Ah, god damn it. We may, we may have a chance of killing the 19-3 now between the Pokey Stick and the Mystic Shot, uh, but it's definitely not going to be easy to do that. They might have counter spells or something as well, which would suck. Um, I mean, I come pretty close to dying anyway, so I'm just going to try and kill it, and if they if this fails, uh, so be it. So be it, it shall fail, uh, and I will have been smacked by the Yashua player. That's fine. That's how they usually smack. <laughs> That's how it usually goes. Uh, so Will of Ionia, that's not actually gonna stop the damage from... Okay, that's not the worst that could have happened there. We lose Asmus. Um, they get that back. Let's do an Augmented Clockling. Condense is okay. Is it okay? Condense? Um, I could make more Clocklings. Which actually is a predict, um, so I don't hate it. More predicts is always kind of nice. Uh, Mirror Mage is here. Do I want to cast Mirror Mage for the fucking fun of it? Oh, <gasps> uh, it'd be funny. That's not going to win me the game at this point, but it's funny if we have it. It is entertaining if we've got it. It's a trinket trade. Ah, fuck it. Let's go for this. Let's go for an otter post, just that we have things. So we attune twice and we get two pranks out of that. We technically have four elusive damage coming in. The Yasuo will kill or hits the 4 7 at this point. Doesn't kill it necessarily but they have two steel tempests fair enough so that's gonna go up to a five three damn okay okay um uh, doing a prank might as well Okay, uh, yeah, that doesn't really do much. It doesn't really do much! Uh, but it is kind of nice to have, I guess. We can maybe cast this glorious evolution soon. Uh, which is something. It's not much, though, but it's something. Uh, yeah, they do actually get rid of the mirror mage because of the flocks. I guess I should have maybe flocked them harder, but, or pranked them harder, but at the same time, it's a three mana flock. And we're at full mana. Everyone, is it full fucking mana? This is gonna do a whole lot of nothing, but it's fun to cast Glorious Evolution, so we're gonna do it anyway. Do we have any portals left? I don't think we have any portals left. Or if we do, we, um, it's like one. Okay, there's one portal remaining. We do have one left. There is a chance. Okay. I mean, that's just going to kill my Nora immediately anyway. Um, that's a Conchologist. We can try that. Called Shot, Poison Dart, uh, Time Winder. Uh, let's do a Called Shot, because I don't know if anything else is going to really help. Am I missing an opportunity to cast Lorius Evolution again? Probably. That's three damage. To something here. I still can't hit the. I still cannot get the Yasuo dead. <laughs> I still cannot kill the Yasuo here. Uh, well, we can try to do something else, I guess. There's so many Steel Tempests. There's so much Steel Tempesting happening over there. Um, they need to have a counter spell. To, oh, maybe we can kill it now. They might be able to kill it now, but they have another Yasuo in the bank, so we just doesn't really matter, actually. It does, unfortunately, not matter at all! Okay, I'm just gonna cast Glorious Evolution for the fun of it to get that extra augment proc going. Uh, today has been a lot of Glorious is casted only to, for limited benefit. What is this meta? What is this meta? Let's get a draw going. Maybe we can cast another unit. That's that trinket trade. I actually might be able to cast another unit here, which means we aren't entirely dead. 
Uh, we are so astonishingly close to dead, though. It's incredible. We are incredibly close to dying. Uh, they have another thing in hand as well. I don't know what it is, but they have something in there. Okay, well, if we don't attack, then we are apparently holding the turn for a hot minute. I just need to be able to kill Yasuo somehow, and I can't, because everything has one HP! There's a parallel conversion. It's actually kind of fucking funny. Uh, that is actually entertaining. Um, I have no allies, which makes it unfortunately a lot less good. But we got progress day. So maybe we can progress day ourselves into a win. That's a condense. That's a portal palooza. We do hit a portal. Uh, that is an otter puss. That's okay. Let's do this. Let's draw some stuff. Conchy boy has been found. Let's otter puss. Let's go with a conch. Uh, we might be able to find another mirror mage eventually. I'm going to count this, by the way, as a... We have successfully... Um, <laughs> we have successfully, like, uh, managed to see most of this deck. <laughs> we have seen so much of this deck. Uh, ooh, that's actually fun. Let's do this. Um... Three mana of Kempong Shredder? Let's take the... Maybe let's take that, though. Because if I do this, then we have still have mana for the parallel conversions, which means they have to use some stuns here. Potentially. It's a 4-1. Okay, so let's stun that. Let's get their stuns out of the way. And then cast a parallel conversions. After we've pranked them, of course, I think. Um, just to force them to use stuff. Just to force them to use stuff. Um, doesn't matter, but we see that they still only have two Tempests, which is actually kind of great at this point. Let's go for Conchi Boy. See if we can't get a spell that we can cast instead of a prank. Uh, Pokey Stick is here. Ooh, Pokey Stick is great! We like Pokey Sticks, for sure. Let's poke their face. Um... Yeah, let's go poke in the face place. Uh, that is a free junk construct and two portals! Oh my god. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so here's the fun part. Here's the fun sneaky bit. We cast junk construct for free, and then we parallel convergence them. And then they have... They have to cast their Steel Tempest, which means we get a turn next turn when they don't have any of their stuns. And the Yasuo is the only thing hanging on right now. We also get more pranks, which means we're continuing to augment the board. Uh, and they don't do anything except uh, let everything hit them. Because we had 11 one otter pusses, folks. We did it. Okay. Um, I actually think that's a pretty good place to leave it. I have currently finished all of the deck submissions that I have in the queue at the moment. Um... I think I'm going to leave it there. We hit Masters. We beat a stun deck with two copies of Glorious Evolution. A pretty good day, I think. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end it there, I think. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Pacific time uh, for more Legends of Runeterra. Uh, now that we're in Masters, we can just kind of fucking clown in Masters, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and thank you all for joining the stream today. I appreciate everyone who submitted decks, popped into the chat. Um generally interacted and supported the stream you guys are amazing um but yeah i'm gonna sign off for now uh hope to see you in a future stream tournament planning is also happening we're aiming as i think i mentioned in the last stream for uh august um we're aiming for august at my calendar works 13th to 20th of august for our next poro cup series tournament so look out for that also mcmonster thank you for the follow i hope you've been enjoying your time here hanging out on the stream i'm gonna find somebody to raid out to uh and appreciate you all a lot okay um let's go check out the category um and see what's up i did see a lot more people uh, online in Runeterra than usual, but that's because there's some big streamers going up. Um, I'm gonna go raid someone smaller as usual. Um, let's see. Um, we could do this person. Um, yeah, we could do that person. Um, so I'm gonna raid out. 
Um, and hope to see you in a future stream. Thank you all for joining. Uh, happy time zone to you. Uh, stay cool. And yeah. Bye, internet. <laughs>